Good day, good light, and a beautiful sky on this lovely day. This is Wendy with Languages of Lights. And it's just been a gorgeous after afternoon, and I've been sitting here just filled with the energy of these beautiful oak trees around me. The breeze is blowing, it's warm. And although it's the beginning of autumn, it's just one of those gorgeous, gorgeous end of summer days. And I just felt at such peace and, and was having such an emotional response to the trees. And I originally was going to try to sit down there beneath them. There's this beautiful spot of moss that I, I just love. I have an affinity for moss. I don't know what it is. It's it's soft and it's just makes a beautiful place to sit beneath the trees and unfortunately the insects were liking me just as much so I moved back up here but I was just feeling this immense gratitude for the trees and what they bring to us and what they do for us and and just feeling that native nature spirit come alive in me because I really do feel like a spirit of nature and we really are all spirits of nature, aren't we? Because when we're out here in nature, we feel our true spirit come alive. We feel our ancestors. We feel our, our native spirits within us. And I've been so inspired, again, by this native spirit um, oracle card deck uh, by Denise Lynn. And I was very inspired by my friend Angie. Hi Angie. Um, and I want to dedicate this one to you too for being out there and getting out there and shining and for inspiring me to bring more of this information, these, these, the beauty of the, the nature, the beauty of the, the spirit of nature and the native spirit within us and sharing that with everyone. It was truly an inspiring time we had together, so thank you. And um, so I just wanted to share this this emotional response that I had in, in the trees and that remembering that they are connected to everything and that they are the antenna, and so are we. we you know, we're all antenna connecting to everything and to constantly connected to source. We're constantly, like the trees, rooted in the earth yet connected to source energy and bringing that information down to the earth and solidifying that energy and I was just feeling this overwhelming connection too of, of the connection between these trees and the trees um, everywhere else and how I know wherever I am the tree I'm talking to talks to every tree I've ever ever talked to or touched and I can send that energy everywhere we can send that energy everywhere our energy is limitless what what it's like light it just never ends you never end your light your energy never ends so ask yourself today what energy are you producing and what our energy are you sending out to the world what message is waiting what what message do you have that's wait, that the world is waiting to hear and what do you have to share with the universe the world the multiverse and asking our, our nature and native spirits today to show us where we shine to show us what gifts and abilities that we have within us to cultivate to embrace to share to understand that that is your piece of divine wisdom to share with the world and so i i ask today for all of us to bring in this highest sense of ourselves the highest essence that we are 
and bless this moment, this now together, and this information coming through that it is what you need to hear, when you need to hear it, and how you need to hear it, how we, I, we all need to hear it, to hear it, to embrace ourselves. And I, I just love my, I've got my beautiful blue sparkly cloth here. I just love this piece of fabric. I have picked it up many, many years ago, um, uh, making a quilt. I love quilting. I haven't done it in a long time, but I, I love quilting. And um, I'm a novice at best, but I enjoy it. And, and I was looking for, I was asking my spirit guides um, what cloth to use, and I came across this because it really reminds me of my connection to all things and all the stars and that every little tiny sparkling speck is one of me, one of us, one of you. We're limitless specks of light shining for each other. Please forgive me my lemon water and my big W cup <laughs> for Wendy Wolf. Another one of my little splurges just at the dollar store. It was a dollar and I saw it and I loved it and I said it's all me. So so with that said, you know, ask yourself today and every day, what can I do today to bring out the best in me? What can I do today to walk beyond that that barrier? Um showing my truth and who I am and shining from inside. What can I do to bring the highest good forward through me? How can I be a divine messenger of, of source energy? I don't know if you can see it, but there are literally hundreds of these little tiny bugs <laughs> all over me. I think I'm going to have to take a moment to uh, protect myself or perhaps move. Um, you probably can't, they are so tiny, they're literally called no see -ums because you can barely see them, but there's literally hundreds all over me. So please, <laughs> a, a moment. <laughs> Okay, I think we got it together here. I actually had to move indoors. No amount of um, natural or repellent or otherwise was going to keep those guys off of me. It was just too intense. So it was like millions. So I guess that's part of the nature spirit is um, to, to be aware that we're also attracted to everything else too. So, and that we all are cohabitating here. <laughs> so we, I guess we have to, I guess, learn to respect each other's space. So. With that said, I was really hoping to do it outside, but we'll get some more outside once the uh, uh, insects start to um, find their other places to hide as the weather changes. But in the meantime, I suppose it doesn't matter where we are in the world, we're always going to have those types of um, beings with us. So uh, I feel a little itchy now. So let's clear the space here with a blessing that all of our angels, our spirit guides, our own individual guardian angels, our ET families, our galactic families, that they be with us today and guide us and help us, give us a message of what we need to hear today for our highest good which in turn is the highest good of the all. And I've got my crystals here with me and just been feeling very blessed to be a part of this earth now, a part of this ascension, understanding that everything's erupting right now that feels negative because it's all coming to the surface so we can deal with it, deal with our fears, deal with, it, deal with our limitations, deal with the beliefs that we our victims deal with the beliefs that we are less than manifestors that we are somehow unable to oh the card flew out I guess I'll keep that one 
Oh, I don't know. It doesn't feel right. No, I don't think I will. I just didn't make, they said no. They said not that one. <laughs> so I guess that wasn't it. So, you know, ask our guides to help us step beyond the boundaries that we once held true for ourselves and to allow ourselves to expand and open up to these these new truths, these these new ways of thinking and understanding that we can broaden that which we thought we were and expand our consciousness and our awareness and this new wave of fourth dimensional energy is something that is is ascending with us and it's not really descending upon us it's it's kind of pushing us forward i think it's it's this feeling of wanting to become everything we we want to become here and experience everything we wanted to come to experience yet knowing that it's the experience of the higher dimensional frequencies that we want to feel not being stuck in this place of this is all I feel I'm worthy of experiencing. This is all I feel I'm capable of experiencing. You, we are capable of experiencing more than we could ever imagine. So I'm going to do a, a, a blessing on these cards today. And I'm going to summon the Aquarian fire energy healing today. And bless this reading, bringing to all of us the highest dimensional information that we need to hear and see and feel today. No go and a sala hina katia na kasisa a la koya shara. No go de kisisa tia na kalaya da kosa sopa la halo koya na ki torosa. Minki asa so toro ki alan lo koya hala koya ba a la ki tare sisa tare sisa la la yana kotoro. Montoro Koran ki esa sa yana ki yana esa toro kosa pa le yana kasa. Toroso, feel the galactic reiki surging through you as the healing from all sources of all realms of all dimensions spreading through you. Feel the rainbow of light, the prism that you are. Extending your own rainbow out as a prism as the light shines through it into a brilliant, vibrant emission of frequencies of color for sound is color, color is sound. Light, everything is frequency, vibration, resonance everything. What you see around you is dictated by your frequency. Everything. When you change your frequency, you change what you see around you because you are a reflection. Your creation is a reflection. No to the Koyasa Sabinka, Chiana Kala Kunta, the Salo Hama, Yella Kotoro Sosopo, Kosa Sala Hala. Moko Tarashiawa, a la Kito, the Kosa Sopo, Sopola Hyena. May we summon today the highest physical healing, the highest spiritual healing, the highest mental healing, and that we remain in that triangle of harmony, in the center of integration of body, mind, and spirit. No question, I am a kiss at Turukosa Palahina Saturukosa, the power of three the power of the crystalline consciousness of body, mind, and spirit integration, the place that resides within you, but the place that stirs the actions within you, aligning together your spiritual and your intellectual guidances, putting in harmony both sides of your brain, both sides of your being, integrating your highest masculine, your highest feminine, bringing the high priest and priestesses within you forward in your sovereignty, 
combining the beauty of the intellectual and the spiritual. That is the message today. Integrate. Feel the oneness within yourself and you will feel the oneness with that which you perceive as outside of yourself. Every blessing. I had to laugh because that ended at 1555 on the timestamp. So that gave me a surge of beautiful energy on these cards today. So let's see what the our native spirits have to say for us today. Tribal spirit dancer. Oh, I love that. The beautiful flock of birds flying together over the sea, over that gorgeous sunset over the water. As a as a the spirit just soar together, dancing together as we dance together on this journey. And what other messages do our native spirits have for us today? Uh oh, the angels are around again. I feel my nose in itching. <laughs> Second card is our spirit keeper of the north. Actually, that's kind of coincidental considering uh, that card came up in our reading, um, kind of, for Angie. Actually, actually, it was the opposite one, but when you live in the other hemisphere, it's um, to be read. The other one is to be read, but since we're doing this one here, we'll just go ahead and keep this. We'll go ahead and keep that as the message card. And our third card today is the talking stick. So in this particular spread, in our three cards, I chose the three card for the Trinity, the three, the body, mind, and spirit integration. And so in this, in this three card reading, the first card is, tells us what needs to be healed. And this would be where our blockage lies and what information do we need to know to to block, to, to unblock this spirit dancer within us. What do we need to do to unlock that and unleash that with us, in, within us, that we feel that togetherness, that we can dance together, and that we're in this together. So let's see what, um, oh, and this is the uh, Nature Spirit Oracle deck from Denise Lynn, which I absolutely love, and um, feel very uh, connected to this deck. So I, I do hope one day I get to meet her and um, give her my gratitude in person. So our tribal spirit dancer, the answer to this blockage is let go. Say yes to life and be daring. Dance to your heart's desire. Unfurl your wings and fly. Cast aside conventions and restrictions. Tune in to the rhythm of life. Laugh 
explore. Go beyond your predictable behavior. Sometimes life is messy and chaotic, and that's okay. Leave the dishes and run outside in the sprinklers. And I'm one of those people that just does things spontaneously. If I get the notion to go outside and walk in the woods or sit outside or do a video or um, go commune with a tree or, you know, that's, that's what it's about. Be, be not afraid to walk off the beaten path, off your beaten path and let go and go run in the sprinklers and sit in the grass, go find a mossy patch, go find an oak or some flower or tree to talk to. And what your spirit, your nat native spirit wants you to know is you are on the planet to be free. You don't always need to meet the expectations of others. You're here to explore, expand, and step into your extraordinary self. Of course, there are times to live an ordinary life, but there are also times to joyously fling your arms to the heavens and dance. And is life really ever ordinary even when we are living our ordinary life? Choose life on your terms. Clear out mental and emotional clutter. Move beyond those situations that you've outgrown. Don't accept the rules that you've placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. This is your time. Don't delay listening to the rhythm of your heart and following your dreams. And on this card, your journey is to turn on music and move. Tribal dance isn't about looking good. It's about feeling the beat inside your heart and expressing this with your body and your emotions. If you want to break free, then start first by expressing yourself wild, free, and the circumstances of your life will transform. And that is so true. And on the second card of this reading, boy, that was just, that was so in sync with what I've been feeling. And now how to heal the blockage. This card is going to show us how to heal this blockage of that tribal spirit dancer within us. So in this beautiful blue card, and I love the synchronicity of the color of this card and my, um, my cloth, I, I just absolutely love that. The, the, the way it just sits on there, blending in and, and accentuating it all at the same time. And so our, our spirit keeper of the North card shows us how to heal this, with, how to heal this blockage. And the meaning for this Hard is to take time for contemplation, to turn within, connect with your ancestors, incubate ideas, mend relationships, watch your dreams. I pay very close attention to my dreams. Write them down if you can remember them and ask your spirit guides to show you the message in your dreams. Meditate. The answers are inside you, waiting to be heard. Stay warm. And even here in, our, in the Northern Hemisphere, as autumn approaches and winter is not far behind, that's part of our mindset now is to stay warm. Create dreams for your future. Repair whatever's broken in your home and your life. Forgive those people and situations that you've been dragging around for a while. Your native spirit wants you to know that in the medicine wheel, the north is the direction that symbolizes the darkest time of night. And isn't that kind of where we all are right now in the darkest time where everything's coming to the surface like lava in a volcano of our deepest, darkest fears, our deepest, darkest limitations, Casting our light on those dark corners and, and flooding them with light so that they're no longer in the dark. And our whole collective consciousness right now is in this darkness. It's in this place of the deepest dark because we are ready to explode into the light. 
It also represents the elder time of life and even of time of endings. Pulling the Spirit Keeper North indicates that it's time to take measure of your life. Explore what's working and what's not working. What and whom do you need to release? It's also the time to make repairs in your physical environment, as well as make repairs to your body. And much like we talked about with the Trinity, the integration of your body, mind, and spirit. Ask your body what it needs. Ask your spirit guides to show you the, the messages from your body to show you what you need to do, where you need guidance, where you need healing, what tools, what permission slips do you need to help you with that integration of body, mind, and spirit. Additionally, this is time to begin to dream and make plans regarding your future. Your ancestors, ancestors are close at time. Your ancestors are close at this time. Call on them. They want to help you. If you live in the Southern Hemisphere and draw this card, read the Spirit Keeper of the South instead for the meanings are reversed. So that was the message that I had received that day. But for today, I, I feel the need to leave this message where it is. The journey. Stand outdoors at night facing north. Inhale the darkness. Sink into your own depth, into the stillness. Ancient wisdom emerges. And I think that was what we needed to hear today on that card. I need another drink. And on the third card of the reading, it's the future income uh, outcome. Income. I like that. Future income. I'm getting this income of information and downloads. So they're telling me the outcome is going to be the incoming, the income of this, um, of the information you're getting and the income of downloads. So the future outcome. The card on this on the right is the outcome card and represents how the situation will be resolved if you follow the advice given in the previous two cards. So in this case, what we want to uh, use for, our, for the outcome for this situation is the talking stick. And I, I love this card. It feels like opening your, sharp, uh, your throat chakra and your heart chakra all at the same time and speaking from your truth, from your heart, from this place inside of you to heal these blockages by, by speaking who you are and not being afraid of your own truth. So the talking stick tells us, and I've actually pulled this card for myself and a couple other people, so, um, so in order for, the, to, to, for the, the outcome of this particular blockage and following the guidance of these prior two cards, um, Speak your truth. The soul loves the truth. Communicate from your heart. Yes, engage that heart chakra and it engages your throat chakra. Speak through your heart. Communicate from your heart and share your reality without hesitation. Be willing to stand before the crowd and share from your center. This isn't the time to be shy and hesitant. It's time to heal through communication. You have the gift of a true leader through the way you communicate with others. So if you're hearing this, you too have the gift of a true leader through the way you communicate with others. This is your gift. Step forward as leaders and communicate your love. Communicate your guidance, communicate your divine information, communicate those downloads, those incoming informational messages, and live them, love them, embrace them, and communicate them out to the world. Your native spirit wants you to know, during tribal council meetings, a decorated stick called a talking stick would be passed around. As each council member held the stick, he or she had the opportunity to speak from the heart. 
Each person in attendance would be asked to weigh carefully the, world, the words of each speaker. The talking stick reminded each person to be authentic. Communication restores trust and allows you to clarify your ideas, position, and feelings. It can be healing when you share what has been withheld. And don't we know that that's where resistance comes from? An illness is we hold on to things. We, all those thoughts and feelings and goodness that we withhold, we need to release. We need to let it out. That's, it's healing. It's cathartic. Now is the time to take a risk and have the courage to speak with clarity. Be forthright. Share any unspoken darkness that lays heavy in the heart. There are times to hold back and times to be discerning. And this, but this isn't one of them. Even if you're afraid, declare your truth for all to hear without fear of being rejected or misunderstood. When you do this, transformation and healing can occur. The journey on this card is to decorate a stick or a feather. And I love feathers. I have tons of feathers too and tons of sticks. So yes, let's decorate sticks together to use as your personal talking stick. Whenever you hold it, let it be a sacred reminder to seek the truth within. Take a minute every day to take stock of where you are and ask yourself about what is so in your life. Simply taking a moment to discover your inner truth can be a profound healing effect on your life. Ah, thank you, Denise. I love this, love this Oracle deck. It just brings me great healing, great pleasure, great energy. And I hope it brought to you a message today, all of you to help guide you to ask your native spirits and your nature spirits for guidance and let it be shown to you the love that you have within you for you. Integrate yourself in body, mind, and spirit. Make decisions that are from your heart and allow yourself to sing, allow yourself to dance, allow yourself to fly. Allow your dreams and abilities and gifts to soar and bring you every possible abundance. I love you. Know thyself, for that is the greatest gift you can receive. It is the greatest gift. You can know it is the greatest gift. You can share. To bloom, layer by layer, as a flower blooms, just as the lotus is the symbol for awareness and awakening. You are awakening. You are becoming aware, and awareness is ascension. Share your knowing, your light, your love, your gifts with yourself in your own world and you will begin to bloom and blossom in ways you never imagined. Ni akono o sotaria ni ina alokotoru kososala ni in kitera sotarikisha ya wa halani no ko ata alakona no sosopala halorong goya ni nina alakatara sosotai alakatarasi kona Ni tiki atarasiko onono kosa satoru kosa sapoya ha. Ana ni ala kata ala kete tiki shisha yena kisa. O toru a yena atoru korani yena. May you feel the power of the Aquarian fire energy healing with you. And these galactic blessings. May you feel them on every level and integrate them 
in body, mind, and spirit. Nyano kosa doshana, atoda kosa saya anaki, di sanyana. Activate yourself. Activate your creativity in self love. Nyata in to the koshanayasa. This is your true Markava, the Anakasanyata, forever spinning a web of time. We are love. And we are light and we are you. Dhyanakasa. And we are one. Mahala. Namaste. Nika ena kasa ta antoko ampoko andati ashiana e taroko ampakati and taroko satapa yenta kasa tatoko shahaya ahana kitiaroko sopola hana kitiana katarishana.